What we're going to do is we're going to uh, demonstrate a product called uh, Vulcan 700 GR. And we're going to use this in conjunction with our nasty cast. So what we're going to do is we've got a cast iron brake drum here. Or brake, what do they call that? Rotor? Rotor. rotor. We've got a cast iron rotor. And we're going to use the 700 GR, Tom is, to gouge out. We're going to simulate we have a crack. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with motor oil and grease. And then we're going to take the nasty cast and weld right through it. Hopefully we have no pinholes because nasty cast designed to weld nasty cast iron. And everybody knows what that is. So go ahead, Tom. Here we go. This is a 700 GR gouging rod. He's, he's removing the metal. Alrighty. Nice job. Makes a nice groove in there, doesn't it? So, what that does is that uh, you know gives you a nice U groove in the uh, where you're going to put your well deposit. And a well deposit is no different than a foundation in a house. If you can pour the concrete on top, you can weld on top. But get a little footing in there, you know, so you can get a little more metal in there. Always makes the welds better. Okay, now what Tom's going to do is put some old motor oil on there. You got to pump that a few times. It's a it's an old one. That, Motor oil comes from 1923, I think. Grease, right up there. Little, oh, nice axle grease. I notice you got high temperature axle grease too. It's going to need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you want to put your machine down to about 110. Oh yeah, thank you. Yep. What we have is we have motor oil and we have axle grease. What Tom's going to do is he's just going to weld right through there with nasty cast. And we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Tom's going to uh, weld through the uh, motor, old motor oil, and he's going to weld through the axle grease. Go ahead, Tom. So as we go, he's, it's burning through. He's got a lot of weld to go there. <laughs> We've got a lot of oil and a lot of grease. So anytime you're welding on cast iron or whatever, you never know what's in it. You never, there could be uh, oil, grease, dirt. Even when they make cast iron, they don't even know what's in it. They throw whatever in there and it's always nasty and dirty and, and difficult to weld sometimes. Generally, when you have dirty, nasty cast iron on conventional cast iron electrodes doing this, it would look like a piece of Swiss cheese. All that would boil out, it'd be nothing but contaminants. But we're gonna see what nasty cast does to this. Extreme, extreme. Uh, dirty cast iron. How's it run, Tom? Can you see it boiling that stuff out of there? Yeah, you see it float right to the top. Yeah, floats it right to the top, wash it right out. Now we'll just let that cool down all by itself. We'll let that slag cool down. Don't hit it, just let it cool down. Take a look at the uh, slag there, cameraman. Okay, now what we're going to do, go ahead, Tom, just slowly start pecking at it. Take a look at this. Nice job, Tom. Nice rod. Not one pinhole through all that oil and grease on that, on that cast iron. That's amazing. Now, does this work out of position also, say for like vertical down or? I don't know. Why don't we, why don't you race it up somewhere? Let's try it. All right. Okay, what we're going to do is Tom's going to uh, attempt to go vertical down with this because sometimes you got a bulldozer motor casing under a truck or under a bulldozer and you're laying there and it's got oil all over and you can't just uh, put things into position. Maybe a machine base on, on a piece of machinery or an electric motor base or something is too big to move around to get it. So we're going to try to weld it uh, vertical down or vertical up, however he wants to do it. Go ahead, Tom. This is vertical down. Vertical down. Nasty cast. Welds cast irons out of position and through dirt and grease and oil and everything you can think of.
Oh, look at that. Zoom in on that nice bead camera, man. Nice job, Tom. You got plenty of uh, penetration. See a got... lot of use for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it works on steel too if it's really dirty, but might as well use 4400. Joining to similar metals? Well, joining cast iron to steel, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Sometimes the piece isn't there and you got to form a piece of steel, right. grind it into shape to plug in a hole in a, a water pump or, uh, you know, a lot of chemical plants have pumps and things and they freeze and they break and the piece isn't there, it's gone. So right. you got to grind a piece a of steel. Bolt, you can Yep, <coughs> exactly.